This is a catastrophe for the people of Tucson, that in the 40s and 50s, over a million gallons of toxins were poured on the ground in the desert here in Tucson. And many of those have percolated into the groundwater aquifer and are continuing to percolate even now. Hi, this is, I'm Linda. This is a public meeting. We will be following up on bringing a lot of the community members um, together today so that we can all um, form a strong community. Moving forward on several, uh, several events that are coming up that are representing this community that have been this historic TCE groundwater contamination. We are now dealing with the new chemical known as dioxin. What we're talking about is a plume in the groundwater that's underneath many of these properties that you will see on the map that we are focused on on getting um, those people relocated and compensated as well as all other victims. These are all members of the community? So you've all been affected by the chemical? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And your family members? Yeah. Teaching you women and men to become leaders in your community, block captains, um, you know, and, and our representatives for your community, this is really important that we empower the South Side. So Lois Gibbs became what is called, is a big, big, big picture of her, is a mother of Superfund sites. It is because of her that now we have Superfund, which says the government will clean it up at our cost because the taxpayers pay the, pay the cleanup. So today is... So today is... February, February 17th, 17. we had our public meeting here tonight from 6 to 7. Our next meeting will be at the same location, Building 1. Uh, that will be on uh, Thursday, February 22nd from 4 to 5. And the address is? The address here is 243 West 33rd Street. It's in the South Tucson area, YWCA. Thank you.